right, you guys, we are going to do one of my absolute favorite Georgia O'Keeffe projects. We are going to do this skull. She did a lot of paintings of flowers, but she also did a lot of pictures of skulls. And since it's about Halloween, I thought this would be a really fun one to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need for this project. So you will need a mat for underneath your paper. You're going to need your paper. You will need a ruler or a flat edge. You can use a cereal box for this if you do not have a ruler. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a Sharpie marker, and then you are going to need some cranks. Whoops, <laughs> of course mine are exploding. And then that is all we're going to need. So as always, I want you starting with a pencil, just in case you make mistakes, that way you can actually erase them. I'm going to go ahead and start with a Sharpie marker just so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we need to start. So we are gonna start from the top of our paper and we're gonna go about three or four finger spaces down. So if you look at this one, three or four finger spaces from the top, we are going to start that skull. So this is going to go, give yourself a little room from each side and we're going to go from the top it's going to go kind of like bump, dip, bump, just like that. And it can't, you really can't go wrong. It's not going to be perfect, but guess what? We're not perfect as people. These animals weren't perfect either, all right? So from here, we're gonna go kind of in a little bit for the eye sockets. So we're gonna go in, kind of like a bump, in, just like that. And then we need to do his cheeks. So I want you to kind of go another bump, bump, bump. All right, now we're gonna go in for the side of his mouth and around for his nose. All right, so we're going to go in, in, and then we're gonna go around for his nose and that's kind of what it's gonna look like. We're going for kind of like a cow head for our skull. So you need two eyeballs in this dip. So we're gonna put two kind of um, ovals in that little dip. Try to make them about the same size. Right. Then we need two nostrils. So we're going to kind of do like this. And those are super skinny also. Kind of like ice cream sprinkle skinny, you know. Super skinny ovals. And then we want these two little lines right here. And these are going to go curve line in. Curve line in. They don't have to be perfect. This one's kind of a big one, and that's okay. Now we need to make this little kind of hole right here. So we're gonna go right in between, and this is gonna look kind of like a triangle. And this triangle does not need to be perfect. It's kind of a little bit off like this. And then I want you to fill it in solid. And this will come when you actually do the Sharpie part. So right now you're doing your pencil lines. You don't have to do this step, so just go ahead and make the shape and then we will fill it in solid. Then I want you to get two lines and they're gonna be curved lines. One goes up and one kind of goes the other way and they don't have to be perfect. There's no rhyme or reason. Just get those two lines in there and they are curved. Okay, now he needs his horns that are gonna come out. And I kind of made my head just a little bit too big. Hopefully you made yours a little smaller. <laughs> now we are going to make these horns come out and they are going to come up curved line and come back in. This is kind of like a shark fin. 
you need two, one on each side, curved line, come back in. So now he kind of looks like the Chicago Bulls. And now we need these little lines that are a little bit extra. It kind of makes it look like these are wrapped. So we're gonna go three curved lines that are kind of close to one another. Don't get too close because you still have to trace these with black marker and black marker is definitely thicker than pencil and we don't want them to get too squished. Close, but not too close. All right, now you are going to need your straight edge. Now we want to turn this bathtub now for just a second. You are going to need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can do it with a straight edge. But I will say the easiest way to do this, if you have a ruler, is to put this ruler, you want to match it up against the bottom line and the side line, just like this. And you have to be super careful you don't draw through your cow skull. You've already done such a good job. So I'm gonna go from the side to the horn and stop, from the horn to the skull and stop, right against that line, horn, stop, horn, and off the side and stop. All right, now this is the easiest way to do this. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna put it right against the line I just made. And I am just going to make these all the same thickness by using my ruler to help me gauge this. So I put my ruler against that line I just made. These are easy because I don't have to make them very thick. And I keep moving this down and I keep backing my ruler up against the last line I made. It's hard if you get going fast you just need to remember not to go through your skull. It's super easy to just go and go straight through. You need to really try not to. But again, at least you are using pencil. So if you did it, you can erase it. Stop. Keep moving down. Until you are all finished. And this bottom one ends up just a little bit smaller, and that's okay. It gives you a really good place to put your name. So it looks just like that. Equal lines going all the way across. So now is a good time to go ahead and copy everything with a Sharpie marker since you are doing yours in pencil. A couple of tips as you guys get to tracing there are a couple of things that gets colored in solid. One is this weird triangle. This gets colored in solid. So you can do that to start with your Sharpie marker. The nose holes, his little nostrils. Okay, this part. Of course, my Sharpie's running out on me his eyeballs, and everything else is just going to get traced really carefully. And then if you take that straight edge, I would suggest that you go over your lines with the Sharpie marker with your ruler again, but I would trace everything first with the Sharpie marker before you do the background lines, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and speed mine up. You guys trace the, um, the cow skull first with your Sharpie, then you may go ahead and use your ruler and get all those lines traced. All right, go ahead and get started. Before we get too far into this, I want you to center right down here at the bottom. Find the center of your paper and I need you to write your first and last name as neatly as you can, please. Try to get it as close to centered as we can. And then we need to start thinking about what you're going to put in the background of each one of these sections. This is supposed to kind of look almost like a blanket, 
kind of laying behind your skull. So if you look at this, when we go to actually color this in, we want lots and lots of designs. Now I want you to switch back to pencil and we will trace all of this when we get going. I have to draw in the marker, but I want you drawing yours with a pencil. You're going to have a pattern. So look at mine. I picked one, two, three, four different things and then I repeat. One, two, three, four, one. It goes these little like weird, I don't know, it looks like the top of like a carrot or something. And then I did these little square swirls. Then I did kind of like shark teeth. Then I did these diamonds. Then I went back to like that little carrot top. The square little swirls, the shark teeth, it's hard to go behind your cow. Then I did the diamonds and I'm back to that carrot top. You want it to kind of be a pattern. Since this is a blanket, you're wanting it to look kind of the same kind of theme on color. So I want you to pick some things that you can put in each section. I sent you some designs that I had drawn out that you can pick from. So start thinking of what you can put in each section. I'm going to go ahead and draw some things in and I'm going to speed mine up. So I want you to be thinking of what you can put in yours and go ahead and get drawing. Again, you switch to pencil, okay? go ahead and go over all of your designs with a Sharpie. Now take your eraser and just make sure that you don't have any pencil lines that are showing that you didn't quite trace perfectly on your lines. You just want to get rid of those before you color so they don't show up. You just don't want those showing. Sometimes I get tracing too fast and I don't get perfect on the lines. So you just want to get rid of those. Sometimes I also clean up my lines and I kind of make those a mess. So clean it up. Get rid of any lines you need to get rid of. So now it's time to color, and you want to kind of decide your color theme. Now in my one that is finished, I picked, let's see, one, two, three, four, five colors, maybe six. I want you to pick between four and eight colors, between four and eight. You don't want any more than eight colors. So you just decide what colors you're going to go with between four and eight and go ahead and color in. Try to make a theme. Like if you can see this section of my, my rug or my blanket is the same on each one of those sections. So like this is the same up here as it is down here. This one is the same as it is up here. It's hard to see because this guy's horns kind of cover most of it, but this section is solid. You don't have to have it completely colorful on every single section, but you do want it for the most part to be colorful. You can have a couple of them that are just solid, but I do want it to be pretty colorful. So the only rule with this, you cannot use black, brown, gray, or white. So no black, no brown, no gray or white. Those are your no colors. But other than that, you really can pretty much use anything but this right here. No black, no brown, no gray, no white. And you cannot color your skull at all. Those are white. So you are going to leave those completely alone. You are only coloring the background. All right, so go ahead, get started on just the background, try to use four to eight colors and try to make it colorful. All right, get started.
right there you have it, your Georgia O'Keeffe cow skulls. And they are all going to look different and however yours turns out is okay. All right, good job this week, guys.